Sir's Bryn. Ronnie O'Sullivan to Bryn. 1-1. One, one. O'Sullivan with 81 after Pang's poor break-off shot. Catching the blue. Best of 11 still to reach the last 16 of the International Championship. I'm sure Paul Collier's watching this with interest because he's tournament director at the Champion of Champions next week. And we know the groups. We don't know who's going to play what day because there's still, well, effectively 12 players in this event who are going to be in that one. <laughs> so he'll be crossing them off as and when they are knocked out because that's being played in Bolton, which is not near Nanjing. Smashing long pot. He will just drift into the side cushion, but he knocked it in so cleanly. Seven. Again, nicely played. With the black available to one pocket. It could be that the red just below and to the right of the black will also go into that pocket. And if you could get on it at some point, clearly that would open things up. Oh, it absolutely flies in that red. You can't play on it here. There seems to be a, a little bit more of a determined feel to Panjin Su in this match than in previous Four occasions three. when he played O'Sullivan and I've never felt like he would win even though he's been you know fairly close but uh, maybe uh, he's an improved player now maybe he can win today if he continues in the way he's going he looks like he 15. wants to keep O'Sullivan off the table for length of time that well also running through onto the black into the same pocket he just knocked it into there 22 23 That's one way of getting the black cleared. Beautiful cannon. Played gently, but with control. 13. Just to say, uh, John Higgins has had made breaks of 85 and 133 to go 2-0 up against Matthew Stevens, who's yet to pot a ball there. So what a start for the Wizard of Wishaw. I did think, and I understand Seven. why they said it last weekend after the Northern Ireland final, you know, we've got to move on from the class of 92. The 
can't last forever, which is true. I did think, I bet one of them wins it this week, <laughs> one of the three of them, because uh, that's the sort of thing they would do. Ronnie, Mark or John. Well, the problem with that, though, I agree with you, and you know, Mark Williams said that had he won in Saudi, he wouldn't have played them very much uh, for the rest of the season, or only the ones he had to play, and he wouldn't have played in everything. So, you know, it's almost like some of the times you look at the class of '92, and they're still right up there, but it's almost they're reluctantly still up there, and they're still good players. Well, he said that, but day one of the tournament, I saw him, and he said, "Oh, I can't, I don't want to get my queue out, I can't be bothered, and all this." And he got to the final. In fact, he probably should have won. So that's what he said. We will never know. He would have carried through. No, he has said a few things like that. Uh, overcut quite uh, markedly there. So 38 from that visit is not is not going to hurt O'Sullivan greatly. Yeah, you've got too much into the centre of the bunch there. Normally the very best 11. breaking them. If you hit the left hand red, he would have uh, opened them up and not been stuck in the middle of them. So he'd be annoyed with that shot. He's usually the best in the business at getting a cluster of reds opened up. On this occasion, though, it, it's not worked out for him. <laughs> Didn't have a pot available. Ron Sullivan, 11. On table two, Judd Trump has levelled up with Joe O'Connor, who made a 1-3-6, a total clearance in frame one. Ali Carter's levelled up with Jackson Page, one each. The winner will play whoever comes through here. Mark Selby's a frame down to uh, Noppin Senkarm. Sean Murphy, one each with Chris Wakelin. Jack Lazowski, one each with C. Joe Witt. It's a bit of an embarrassment of riches today. They're all, all really good games, I think. Gary Wilson's won the first against Robbie Williams. John Higgins, as I say, 2-0 over Matthew Stevens. So both players have been in once with a meaningful chance. I think Pangs was a better opportunity, actually. And Sullivan didn't get the reds open, but there's still all to play for in this frame.
This is a beautiful safety shot. Look at this for a shot. And that is outstanding. He um, played it with a little bit of right hand check side. It's a very well played safety shot. Could be that Pang Jin Su can get across to one of the Reds. Again, that's a very probing safety shot from O'Sullivan. He's not just got the cue ball back down the other end. You know, he's put Pang in a world of trouble here again. So that side of his game is sometimes goes unnoticed. Not always, but he's played two outstanding safety shots in a short period of time here to put Pang in a lot of trouble. for a thin contact here. Difficult shot to play, and he's played it ever so well. That is always a hard shot. Now, can O'Sullivan put him in more trouble on this occasion? He had to kind of risk the pink going safe, which wouldn't suit Ronnie, 27 behind. But look at that cue ball again. This is excellent. Yes, I mean, if he's in the mood to play this game, he can play it to a very, very high standard. He's got all the awareness in the world. Hasn't always, let's be honest, been in the mood to, to play it, but it seems to be here. So he just came round the back of the red. So yes, he made contact, but he left a pot on him. Sullivan not able to get on a colour, but he seems to have got his teeth into this uh, exchange here. He didn't want to get the pink and black in play because he's behind in the frame. He wouldn't want to just play up the table and leave them where they are locked down. See, in a way, that's... Well, I mean, it's an absolutely outstanding shot, isn't it? But didn't quite get in behind the brown, but he has opened up pink and black. He, he's actually got him on the ropes here. I know he's in front, Pang, but he's putting him in plenty of bother. Judd Trump, meanwhile, is going to be 2-1 up, up on Joe O'Connor, who made a total clearance, one three six in frame one, but Trump's dominated since. Well, 
Well, Sullivan forced that error from Pang Jin Su, albeit it is not an easy opening red at all from there. It's just not a very nice shot to be dropping that in from on the side cushion rail. So that'll annoy Ronnie because he actually won all the battles there, but he might not win the, the war, so to speak, in this frame. Pang's got a chance that sort of come about, albeit not easy for him either with the pink tied up. If he could take three red blacks or three reds with high value colours, he'd be on track to get the frame one. They go in comfortably One. down that uh, bottom cushion, clearly. <laughs> yes, he played the cannon very measured put too much Eight. force into it. Not a great deal could go wrong there. Interesting frame, Nine. isn't it? It looks as if Pang should go on and, and get it won. He was outmaneuvered in the middle of it, but it didn't amount to anything because O'Sullivan missed that red. There's one thing winning the safety battles, but you've got to follow it up clearly with a scoring chance when it comes your way. I mean, no one knows this better than O'Sullivan. But the red he was left was not an easy one. 16. Seventeen. Yes, and Ronnie O'Sullivan, he may not have played in Northern Ireland, but he would have kept an eye on results. He knows what's going on. He knows about Pang and his strengths and the fact that he's full of confidence right now. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that those couple of matches he lost very narrowly to Wakelin and Selby, 50 plus in front of the decider in both. Who knows what kind of season he might have had because he's been pretty good in and around those defeats. He's a player that's absolutely knocking on the door. And 25. If he knocks in any colour here, barring snookers, he'll lead 2 1. Lucas required. It's interesting, actually, I saw the interview he did in Northern Ireland through a translator. There were subtitles, and it said that uh, you know, he didn't actively seek out snooker. He kind of was 31. introduced to the game. It wasn't something he, would, as a youngster, particularly wanted to do. But since he has had the chance, he's put everything into it. Well, they played in Wuhan last year at this round, actually, the last 32. He led 4-3, Pang. That was best of nine. And Ronnie produced one of his sort of grandstand six. finishes, made a century and another big break to win 5-4. But he's uh, given him a, a good match already. The Crucible, he came back at him. That was the opening day, wasn't it? In the 2023, he was on his debut there. So he doesn't seem overawed playing O'Sullivan. And let's be honest, a lot of players are, including players higher up the rankings than Pang jung -Zoo. Good effort to remove the red. Not that it means a great deal. He's won the frame long since. 40. Yeah, O'Sullivan seemed to have won the little safety battle, but he missed that tricky red. And this could be in yet, yeah, this red. Not quite, but Pang 40. has put together a solid break. And so 
He's back in front. Let's uh, hope from his perspective he plays a better break-off shot in frame four than he did in frame two.